Hello, Dr. Brian Abelson from Kinetic Health. I'm going to go over some muscle testing for the lower extremity. This is great information because sometimes we're trying to figure out which muscles are involved in a particular injury or actually could be, we could be talking about sports performance and we're trying to figure out what is involved in inhibiting an action and why the person isn't performing up to the level they should be. So we'll go through a series of some tests and we'll start out with the testing for the hip flexors. So what we're going to do is we're going to test some muscles deep to the abdomen here called the iliopsoas, our primary hip flexors. Our secondary hip flexors are our quadriceps. In this particular test, we bring the knee up like so, and I'm going to just push a little bit here, down, just to see if the muscle locks up. How's that feel, Mickey? Yeah. No problem. Okay, now I'm going to push a little bit harder, just resist hard, real hard. Good, perfect. Now, let's say that Mickey wasn't able to actually resist this the leg would start to come down. So a response where it was showing a weakness in the iliopsoas muscle would be this. This would just come straight down like this. Pretty straightforward test, but it's a great indication of whether or not our hip flexors are strong. The next muscle we're going to test is the gluteus medius. Okay, we're just going to bring the leg up here to the side in what we call abduction, and we're going to hold that there, and then I'm going to push down just slightly until the muscle locks up. How's that feeling? Yep. No problem there? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm not going to try to overpower Mickey, but I'm going to push a little bit harder, making sure I'm stabilizing the hip so the hip isn't forward or back but in a neutral position. Okay, just resist. Good, and that locks up quite well. Okay, if the muscle was weak and I push down here, Mickey would not be able to resist the action. So I'll push down here and the leg would just kind of drop down like that. This would give us an indication that the gluteus medius was weak and we needed to do some strengthening exercises. Perhaps like a one-legged split squat or a Bulgarian split squat. This is a great test for the gluteus medius. The next muscle we're going to test is the gluteus maximus. So I'm just going to take Mickey's leg here and bring it up slightly here. Just hold that position. Are you okay there? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to test the glute here, our primary hip extensor. Now, I'm going to push down just slightly to make sure that it's locking out in position. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'm going to push a little bit harder. Resist. Okay, good. Now, if we had a weak gluteus maximus, I'd push down and the leg would just drop right down. And that would give us an indication of a weak muscle. Of course, when we do these tests, we're always testing on both sides of the body, making sure we're locking out. In this case, bringing the leg up. Hold it there. Resist a little bit. Good. I'm going to push a little bit harder. Resist hard. Good. And if it was weak, this would drop right down. Okay, let's go on to the next muscle. The next muscle we're going to test is the hamstring muscle. This is actually pretty easy. We've just tested the gluteus maximus. Now we can just bring the leg up a little bit here, like so, and just resist when I push down. Excellent. So, I've got a good locking out, and then I'm going to push a little bit harder, not trying to overpower, just to make sure we've got some good strength in the hamstring. Resist. No problem there. Mickey's got a very strong hamstring there. If the hamstring was weak and I push down, the leg would just drop right down like that. Really, really simple test, but an excellent way of determining whether or not we've got a weakness in the hamstring. Okay, the last group of muscles we're going to go over are the adductors. The muscles on the inside of your thigh, the muscles that give you the ability to actually bring your leg in. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to have Mickey actually resist as I try and pull her legs apart. So, heels together here, and I'm just going to resist. Okay, so it's locking out pretty good there. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more strength into it, I'm not trying to overpower, we're not trying to use my whole body to you know, overcome a smaller muscle group. But we're going to resist this now. Just resist again. It's locking out. I'm going to put a little more force in there. Resist really hard. Good. Okay. She's holding that very well. Now, if we had weak adductors, this is what we'd see. I pull, and the leg would actually just come out like that. So this is a really good test for checking the strength of the adductors. Now, why this is so important is because quite often people will have a weakness of their glutes but they don't realize at the same time they have a weakness of the adductor, so we need to check both sides in here. This is just a great way to check out this muscle. 